Hi guys, I'm back again. Eu sou a professora Simone and today we have a very special lesson. Uma lição que eu particularmente adoro muito because we are going to talk about planning a lesson, okay? But before we start talking about it, let's get back to part of our context. So we have here academic and professional life. Now you are working as an assistant, remember that, okay? So putting academic knowledge into practice, the art of planning. This is what we are going to do. A grande arte é o planejamento, and you are going to understand now and why, okay? So in here, what you have here? Let's remember our journey. So you have accomplished so many good things so far, right? After a job interview, you were hired as a science assistant teacher. Now you are a teacher. Okay, you got to know the school you will teach in. Remember the school structure stuff. You commented and made suggestions about the lesson you observed. So you had an observation, the first contact in the class and with the students. Okay, so how about today? What are our learning objectives today? Here we have, in this class, you will come here with me, be introduced to lesson plan structure. Ou seja, a estrutura de um lesson plan. Como que eu faço? Será que existe uma maneira? Será que existe um formulário? O que, que existe? How do I do that? Ok? So, be introduced to lesson plan writing. Ok? A escrita do lesson plan. And use previous language knowledge to write the lesson plan. Por que, que a gente está falando de use previous knowledge? Porque tudo que você for trabalhar na escrita do seu planejamento de aula é a língua que você já conhece. Você só vai ampliar o contexto dela e o horizonte, ok? And how about our challenge? The challenge for this class. So, you are going to write a lesson plan and share it with your peers. Vamos praticar e vamos escrever o nosso lesson plan, ok? So, and here we have... Are you ready to plan? Yes or no? Yes? Good. But... You are going to do the planning, not with me today. Não vai ser comigo que você vai fazer o planejamento, mas vai ser com duas, duas professoras muito especiais, duas convidadas, a professora Márcia e a professora Catherine, que está voltando aqui conosco depois de uma temporada fora. So, Márcia and Catherine, thank you so much for coming. It's always a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, Simone, and thank you guys for having me here again. Now, it's over to Catherine. Thank you, Marcia. Thanks, Simone, for that. Thank you. It's a, a great pleasure to be here with you again. So, are you ready to plan? So, let's see. So, if we were thinking about what to teach our students, we are planning, we have to do, we have lots of things in our mind. A gente tem um monte de coisa na nossa cabeça e a gente precisa colocar numa aula. Como fazer? Well, the questions are, what do students need to learn? O que, que eles precisam fazer? O que, que eles precisam aprender? Primeiro, o foco é o aluno, não o que eu quero, mas a necessidade dele. Then, what teaching and learning activities will I use? Que atividades eu vou escolher que vão de encontro com as necessidades dos alunos? How do I assess the students' progress? Como é que eu vou avaliar o progresso dos alunos? E além disso, temos que pensar também na interação, interaction and feedback. Como que eu vou dar uma devolutiva do progresso dele, do desempenho dele em sala de aula? Well, lots of things, right, Marcia? Yes, lots and lots of things. So, let's move on and see a lesson plan structure to help you plan all these things Catherine have, has told you about, okay? So, in a lesson plan structure, the main points are Identification, name, date, course, duration, subject, lesson, and unit, okay? Then the lesson aims and the lesson objectives. Catherine, what, what is the difference between lesson aims and lesson objectives? Well, we can think about uh, uh, aims, something general, bigger, the general objective. It's more or less the same. Objetivo geral. And then objectives, they are minor, they are more specific objectives. So we have something general, like today we have lesson plan, and then we have smaller objectives, steps that we need to follow. Então são objetivos específicos, que são passos para atingir o objetivo maior. 
Ah, agora eu entendi, Catherine. And then, after that, what do we have? Assumed prior knowledge, what we think our students know. Resources, what we are going to use to teach them. Assessment, uh, how well are they doing or not? What are the difficulties? What uh, they have already grasped? O que, que eles já entenderam? And components of a lesson. Time, teacher activity, student activity, and resources. Because when you think of all these items, you are sure to have a great lesson in your hands. Okay? Yes. And then we have here our paper, our plan. So what we do? All the things we have uh, mentioned there, we have to put here. We have to plan and write. Então, essa daqui é a estrutura bem genérica do que é um lesson plan. Existem lesson plans que são bem extensos, que daí também depende do quanto o professor é detalhista ou não. Mas o que é importante tem que estar aqui, nesses passos que a professora Márcia comentou. Ok, so let's go one by one. Let's, Catherine. Yeah. So, identification. So, we're going to put your name, the teacher's name, then the course you're teaching. So, it could be elementary, K-10. The subject, in this case, animated periodic table. The date of your class. The duration, so how long it will last. 40 minutes, 50 minutes, one hour. In this case, two hours. And uh, the week you are working in. It could be week, it could be unit one, unit two. That depends. In this case, it's week 10. And then, let's take a look here. Let's. Oh, subject, animated periodic table. In this case, we are going to use, we're going to review a little bit of adjectives and how they are put, how we sequence them, how we order them. So, animated periodic table, so we put the purpose, the purpose to, and the noun. Então, a gente coloca o motivo e o, o nome do, do objeto, né? do, no caso aqui, que seria o substantivo. Mas poderia ser, por exemplo, Mapas interativos. So it would be interactive maps. First adjective and then now interactive maps. Right? Okay, right. So now let's see what we have after you identified your lesson plan. After you identified your lesson plan, what you have are your aims. Remember what Kate told you that it is the overall statement of the lesson. What is the lesson about in general terms? De maneira geral. So, your lesson aims here are to introduce the elements of the periodic table and create an animation to represent one of the elements. See? Very general. Other examples are to provide a framework for planning and designing lessons. This is our main aim for your lesson today. That's why we brought it here for you. Uh, and look, when we do that, we said to provide for. This is the kind of language you are going to use when you're talking about your aims in your lesson plan. Let's see another kind of language you can use. It would be the aim of this lesson is to discuss the characteristics of similar elements. So, the aim of is to. You see, o, o objetivo é Fazer tal coisa. E aí você vai usar is to. Ok? So let's see another part of your lesson. Well, there they are. Objectives. As I said before, objectives are more specific statements of a lesson or of a course. In this case, we are talking about a lesson. So lesson objectives. And then we always put in parentheses like students will be able to. Por quê? Quais, o que são os objetivos? É o que nós esperamos que o aluno consiga fazer ao final da aula. Então, nós vamos colocar, colocar em passos. So, in this class, students will. You know that. We use this every class. In this class, you will. So, we put here in the plan too. In this class, students will explore the periodic table of the elements, discuss the concept of chemical compounds, receive instruction of how to use the animation software and create a short, short animation representing one element of the periodic table. Ou seja, 
todos os objetivos que você listar, você tem que colocar aqui. Perceba o modo que nós colocamos. We use, we use the very same structure. Cre explore, discuss, receive, create. Why? Because before we put, students will be able to. After that, you need to use the bare infinitive. Nothing more. Very simple. So, other examples are evaluate the chemical makeup of one element or experiment with different types of animation. So, you just need to vary some things, okay? Okay, Kate, so let's go. Uh, another section of your plan is assumed prior knowledge. You're going to think what you believe your students know, okay? So, what, uh, students have some knowledge about the subject aims and objectives because they were introduced in, pre in a previous lesson. So you believe that they will remember something, okay? So other examples are students know how to create and edit videos and students have a brief idea of molecule structures. Okay, so students know how to, students have, you see, simple present because you are talking about facts you believe to be true, right? Okay, so let's move on and give it over to Catherine. Well, we're going to talk about resources. And resources are things that you're going to use during your class. Um, tudo que você for usar durante a sua aula, you have to list. Você tem que listar. So, for example, we have the whiteboard, a PowerPoint presentation, it could be a handout. A handout é, um, é uma folha de exercícios ou um, um, um folheto com o um explicativo com, com a matéria que você vai apresentar. Could be computer, animation software program, uh, a storyboard template, or a sheet of paper, just uma folha de papel em branco. Um, and in this case, we're going to choose um, Models, we could use models too, like this, for example. You have a molecule model, so you can use like a realia, something like that, to represent the molecules. Okay. And then what you're going to do? You're going to assess your students. You're going to assess their work. What were they able to do? To do that, you're going to say, students' grades will be based on their ability to understand and communicate the concepts of the lesson's contents, uh, uh, they will be based on the correct use of terminology to discuss the subject matter and they will be based on animation, creation and sharing. Okay, so what do you have there? They will be based on something. They will be based on, you're going to use a noun, right? So let's see some other examples here. So, uh, you could also say students' scores, progress, will be determined by what is going to determine their progress, their ability to use different tools for animation and the correct use of terminology. Then again, what is going to determine their progress is something, it's a noun. What else, Kate? Well, let's see. Components of a lesson. Well, now we start talking about the lesson, what we're going to do during the lesson, what we, we're going to plan all the activities from the very beginning until the end, because so far we have just stated aims, objectives, resources. Até agora a gente só colocou os objetivos da aula, objetivo geral, os objetivos específicos e os materiais que vamos usar. Now it's time to describe the process. So we have time, because you need to time, você tem que cronometrar o tempo. Pense, se você tem duas horas de aula, que é nesse caso, como eu vou dividir as atividades? Well, so we put time, minutes, then content and teacher activity, and student activity. Então, quais, quais são as ações do professor e as ações dos alunos? So let's see some examples. Um, so the very first two minutes, we're going to recap last class. Vamos rever algum, um pouquinho da aula anterior. And the students will just listen. And next, for two minutes, we're going to present aims and objectives of the lesson class. It's very important to tell your students about the aim and objectives. A gente sempre tem que brifar o aluno sobre o que ele vai ver naquela aula, como nós fazemos com vocês todas as aulas. And the students will just listen. And then, after five minutes, we're going to introduce students to the 
to the periodic tables of elements. The students will listen, read, watch. After that, 15 minutes, the students ask students to discuss the basic characteristics of elements and compounds and present the results to the class. Students in groups of four, the students choose an element, evaluate in chemical makeup, discuss and present the class. Well, if we're talking about procedures, so we have to use imperatives, Marcia. Yes, absolutely. So, remember, you've seen this before. Você já viu isso antes. Quando a gente fala de instrução, nós vamos usar imperativos. So that's why we, we have recap, present, introduce, ask, and instruct. Okay? Okay. Perfect. So, you use the imperative for that, and you use the infinitive to represent the teacher's or, and or the student's actions. Uh, so, recap previous content, for instance, allocate pairs to look through the periodic table, go through the assignment, present the periodic table, and set time to complete the activity, the project, and the experiment. All right? All right. So, remember we talked about interaction in the lesson plan? Well, we're going to see some kinds of interactions here. Well, we can have whole class, whole class, everyone, all students. Group work, so it could be small groups or large groups. We have trios, we have pairs, and we have individually. So depending on your lesson, you may start from whole class and then you will narrow until you work individually with each student. Or depending on, on the activity, you, you want to start individually and then work with whole class. That all depends on your aims, your objectives. Okay, perfect. So, and last but not least, we have feedback. Okay, remember what we told you about feedback. It, has to be, there's, there has to be something good to be said about the work, even if it needs improvement, okay? So, you always address the good points. That's what it's all about. Uh, you emphasize the achievements of the students, and you address the areas to improve, because not everything is good, but something is always good. And you ask questions that lead to an expected outcome. Why? Because what you want is to develop knowledge in your students, not to give them the answers. Right, Kate? That's right. Okay, so that's, I guess that's it for today. And uh, thank you very much for being here with us again. Thank you. Thank you, Simone. Now it's with you. Marsha and Catherine, it's always a pleasure to have you here. I say thank you very much. So, to finish our class, let's have a look over here. So, in this class, you were introduced to a lesson plan structure, were introduced to a lesson plan writing, used previous knowledge to write a lesson plan. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed our lesson. Espero que você tenha gostado muito na ideia de trabalhar o planejamento. Because for us, as I said in the very first beginning, planning is the key to success. So I thank you very much, okay, for being here with us and say goodbye and see you pretty soon.